All right. So for this feature launch, we wanted to improve on what we do best, which is making application development easier, 10 times faster, and ultimately resulting in higher quality applications. So you've seen the features, but let's do some live demos. All right. So for our first feature, I'll give some context. So re in the last year, we've made some, some recent advances to, to Flutterflow to allow teams to collaborate in real time on the same project. Uh, however, as some of our larger uh, users know, uh, when you have multiple people working in the same project, changing all kinds of things, touching different parts of the project, you can start to step on people's toes a little bit. Um, makes it a little bit cha more challenging to test and, and to build. However, you'll notice that this doesn't actually apply in the normal traditional development cycle, right? And why is that? It's because typically, as a developer, you check out your own branch, isolate it from everyone else in your own peaceful environment, make all the changes that you want, and at the very end, merge them back in. And that is the exact functionality that we wanted to emulate directly in Flutterflow. So without further ado, I'd like to invite Victoria to the stage to give us a sneak peek of this in action. Let's get started with branching. Um, so over here, I have started a project with my teammate Takashi. What we're looking at right now is the stable version of the project or the main branch. And on top of that, Takashi and I have separately developed our own updates to this app on our own separate branches. Uh, let's say that Takashi has already finished making his changes ha and has already pushed his branch into the main branch. So now all that's left to do is for me to also merge in my changes. Uh, so I'm going to do that by pressing the merge button over there. So when I merge a branch into the main branch, all of the non-conflicting changes will automatically be applied to the new version of the project. However, like Alex said, it could be hard for us to not overlap and step on each other's toes. And for those conflicting changes, Flutterflow should detect them and prompt us to handle them, which is what we have over here, a summary of all of our conflicts. Now let's take a closer look. So over here, we have a conflict on our onboarding page. So if we take a look here, this is what the project initially looked like before I created my branches. Here is the change I made. And here is Takashi's change. Uh, for this one, I actually like Takashi's change more, so I'm going to select that one. But for the actions, let's see. Over here, I'm navigating to the timer page while Takashi's navigating to some other page. Um, I like mine more, so I'm going to accept my changes this time. And as you can see, the number of errors were reduced. And we have this here just to make sure that your project did not break during this merge process. And of course, you also have access to your other tools that you use during normal development, such as preview mode, run mode, and downloading your code. Again, just to make sure that nothing is breaking while you're merging your branches. Um, yeah, so let me just go through this project. And I see here that it looks like Takashi made a typo. So let me just get that fixed for him. And once I'm happy with everything, I can merge in my changes. So when I merge in my branch into the main branch, what's going to happen is both the main branch and my branch will be updated to look like what we previously saw under accepted changes. Um, so let's just verify that that actually worked. Um, so I have Takashi's change right here, which I accepted. And over here, I have my action. And let's make sure the typo has also been fixed. And yeah, let's just refresh this page just to make sure it's up to date. 
And while we're waiting for that, uh, we can also look here to see the history of all the updates we've made to branches and merges. So here's the latest one that I just made a moment ago, merging my branch into main. And yeah, so here we have the main branch again. Uh, workouts, timer, and yeah, the typo's been fixed here too. All right, so that's it for branching. All right, thank you, Victoria. And, and by the way, everyone here presenting these features actually built them. So another big thank you to Victoria, not just for presenting, but for also building this amazing feature. <laughs>